This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Hi, this is Mark from the Pop Culture Bunker. From time to time, I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of the bunker itself, kind of like a museum. Let's take a look. So this is a room divider where we have a lot of the figures. We'll go over these. There's some books at the bottom. But uh, let's start over on the left with the Simpsons figures. So these were a series that Playmates came out with in the 1990s. All little dioramas with the various characters, hundreds of characters, of course, on the Simpsons. And the interesting thing was each of the little dioramas had these pegs and all of the characters had little holes on their feet and when you plugged in a character to any one of these dioramas they would play different sound clips for different characters so you had to kind of mix and match to find out everything that was available so unfortunately they all involve little watch batteries so i'm it would cost me a fortune to replace them all now after all these years So here's a better view, a lot more detail here. You see a lot of detail in the dioramas. And of course, because they can get computer information off the anim animation that they've generated, it's very easy for them to generate really great likenesses of the various figures. This is the largest set they generated, the Main Street set. It could plug in several figures. There's a Radioactive Man and Fallout Boy. Now this is a stonecutter set. You had to mail away for these. And there was going to be a building for this, but they canceled the whole series before that happened. Now we're on the other side of the room divider here. Some more of these sets. Again, they made just a boatload of these over the years. And still more and more sets. <laughs> and even more. And here's some special sets, including the Marge Giant Pez Dispenser and the Homer soap on a rope, and the Krusty doll with the good and evil switch on the back. These are some various additional figures they created, and at the bottom you'll see the sets that they put out from Burger King for their Happy Meal things for a couple years. And this is a special figure. This is the one I don't have, the radioactive glow-in-the-dark variant of that figure, the, the Homer right there. That's the one. If I just mailed in, I didn't do it. Oh, well. This is a robot Santa and set that I got at a convention. They put out a boatload of Barts. Just way too many of them. And a few more Futurama figures over here on the right. This is Mindy's Pez collection. We bought the, this riser set online and the figures kind of lock into them with the little feet. Kind of useful so they don't just fall over every time you breathe on them. And some more Pez and a few various other things right here. And some more Pez on the wall. So she continues every once in a while to get more Pez, has mostly gotten out of that now. And yet more Pez, a few more rare variants, some older ones here. And then near the bottom, you'll see some special sets. And this was for things like Lord of the Rings and Star Trek and uh, Wizard of Oz and the Disney princesses. This is just some Star Trek stuff. I collected this for a while. See a lot of what they call unpackaged or loose figures. Here are some of the ships and a few of the weapons. Um, Non-functional, of course. And now we get into more of the DC stuff. And we also see Space Ghost Coast to Coast. And I can't believe they actually came out with this series. This is when virtually anything that was available in animation was coming out. More DC, Superman flying Lois around, and then we get into some PVC sets, uh, little uh, toys for Happy Meals, some Silver Age figures here. And these are the Super Friends and some other figures as well. There's a little close-up of the Legion of Super Pets. 
crypto and streaky and hoppy and beppo and so really happy that i was able to get the legion of super pets and i always grab those when i can see them and there's the the set of the marvel family and on the other side of the wall more of the pvc sets there's a lot more silver age stuff also new gods and the birds of prey figures and below that is the classic jla versus the crime syndicate And yet more PVC sets, some little lunch boxes, and this is the Kingdom Come set, and I'll get a closer shot here. So this is from the Kingdom Come miniseries that came out late 90s. A really classic work. If you have not read it and you're a comic fan, you, you're really missing something. It's kind of the supposed future of the DCU, at least at that time. So let's go to the wall, and you see a lot of stuff here on the wall, and we'll go through a few of these. A lot of Futurama stuff you see there, some of the Watchmen figures. And these are the figures from the Mystery Men t uh, movie that came out late 90s. A great movie, one of my favorite movies, and it really just didn't make it at the box office. And these are the tick figures from the live action TV series. Another thing you should really look for if you haven't seen it. And these are relatively rare. There's the Captain Liberty. They couldn't use American Maid as a character in the live action series. And my favorite character, Pablo Noel. Here are the Sandman and Vertigo type figures over here. A few more Pez there. And that kind of segues into Infinite Crisis figures. You saw a Smallville figure there. I love that huge Mongol figure. And then Crisis on Infinite Earth figures as well. Painting up here, some Silver Age Superman figures on the right there. And this, and kind of hard to see, but it is, in fact, DC Villains section for them and then directly to their left are a group of Legion of Superheroes figures as you see they kind of changed formatting for the packaging over the years and this is a bunch of JSA figures and also some Freedom Fighters figures on the right and some miscellaneous figures the question Blue Beetle and the Spectre. And this is a store fixture I purchased at a warehouse, and it houses all of the weird variant Superman and Batman figures. They cranked out boatloads of them in the 80s and 90s and still do. And some more generic Justice League heroes in various incarnations. There's a couple red tornadoes there. Going all the way down to that Justice series that they put out. And there's some Mego figures over here on the left. And some Justice League International figures. History of DCU figures. I really love those Mego recreations. They're not the originals. I couldn't afford those. And these are die cast figures based on various media properties. Collected these for a little while. I don't know why Superman needs his own car. And these are breakfast cereal boxes. A lot of them from the Simpsons uh, movie when it came out. There's a Star Trek one. The next Star Trek one you'll see uh, Rice Krispies. I actually had to go over to Canada to get. And these are a series of prints from Adam Hughes, well-known comic book artist. Picked these up a while back. Now for a change of pace, these are obviously old computers. This is a actually working Commodore pet computer. I got these from my father-in-law who was about to throw them out. He had purchased computers all these years. There's a Radio Shack TRS-80 or Trash-80, as they were referred to. 
Model 1. And this is an Apple II Plus. And here's a detail shot of the Trash 80 with the expansion console. I just couldn't bear to have these thrown out. And a close-up shot of the Apple II Plus with the additional hard drives. Be sure to check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Through Comics, on iTunes. Or you can check out sfpodcastnetwork.com. Thanks for watching.